Hello guys, hello and welcome to another episode of Hearts on 4 Modern Day Mod and the Democratic Republic of Congo or the Congo Conquest. Last episode we, um, well, we declared war and some factions were created. Both the African Coalition and the African Coalition. <laughs> so we're at war with two Afghan coalitions right now but I don't think that's good enough so we will see if we can justify a couple more wars and if we can get well maybe maybe another African coalition since that seems to be the very popular name nowadays to uh, well name your faction once you make one uh, we have earth Port right here otherwise we're just pushing in in both Libya and Egypt <coughs> And that should at least bring an end to one African coalition. And we'll see what happens with the other ones. Uh, these division, divisions are still moving forward. That's why you are delaying. Alright. <sighs> so let's see. These military police slash garrison divisions are... <coughs> so far actually holding everything they should be holding. Cool. Let's grab one more state right here. It's basically one more port over there. There's not a lot more. <coughs> uh, Hong Kong want an aggression pack. No, thank you. We don't need it. What we do need is faster legs. If well, my troops could just run a bit faster to actually get to the front line. These pro provinces here are so big. It's ridiculous. <coughs> And yeah, right here we will have to attack from several directions to be able to break this. Because this is kind of impossible to break over a river into one province. Or one versus one over a river. Yeah, and we have, have a river over here too. So it would be... Yeah, we have to attack from two river positions to be able to get there. That's kind of bad. Or actually, that's really bad. I want half of you right there, half of you right there. <coughs> Basically splitting up my forces a bit more. Just trying to break them ASAP. Because it might even be so that we don't have to grab the lost state. If we just grab the capital, they might capitulate. <laughs> We're trying to move in right here, but it takes such a long time. They manage to get back, to, we manage to route them, they manage to move someone back again. That's ridiculous. Come on, let's move in right now. Let's just be a tiny bit more aggressive than I've been. Good, route them everywhere so they can't actually reinforce anywhere. You move in right here. Uh, let's see over here. Yeah, you charge in, break them together. Break those units together, split in half, break that. <coughs> okay, you're gonna need some support. Let's just break that together then. There you go, has capitulated. Excellent. This would be a bit more difficult. You attack there at the same time. Excellent. Then one unit move in right here. <coughs> Two units move in right here. One unit right there. Okay, you need to just relax a tiny bit, then you can continue advancing. Broken, and you split up right there. <coughs> Come on, Daniel, stop coughing. Stop coughing. You've been coughing too much right now. So, hello, how about this, Egypt? Don't want to quit late right now. Just surrender. And this bloodshed between our people. It's, not, it's really not necessary for you to do it anymore. You fought, you stood for your freedom, but it's time for you to join the African coalition. There you go. Was, was that so hard? I don't think so. <coughs> Alright, we had a ton of divisions right there. Um, you were all spread out quite a bit. Alright, oh, that wasn't even the one I was using. I was using this one. Uh, let's see, any front that was unguarded. Well... You green units, you can now be assigned right here. So I don't need additional units. You guys can be the first one to actually... Let's just make like this. Let's just make a real, well, strong front line right here. With some real divisions. <coughs> <laughs> yep, 
Libya and Egypt. Let's just make sure that we take everything. Apparently not. Pass, 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 pass. Take everything. Thank you. And done. Excellent. Now you guys can just be increased. Two. Two. There. Much better. <coughs> Basically, when, once we declare war against, well, NATO, I want a real solid front line. And, well, garrison order, that works, but I want to be able to have it a bit more dynamic. So I can basically take a couple units right here and just right click right here and it will be fine. <coughs> so I think half of the divisions right here are now, well, done. Ready to do something more. So basically everyone with the yellow exclamation mark. <coughs> So let's just select them manually, because I think that would be the easiest way then. If I don't double click the divisions, not you, but you and you. Here we have four in a row, excellent. Those three, you two, oh, you three actually. Come on! This was not that effective. I was gonna do this super quickly, yes. Yeah, that's no problem. And I did so inefficient. All of you against Tunisia and just, well, gather up. <coughs> Not even five division, five fresh divisions right here that I hadn't been used for anything. How's the supply? God, I, I need to take some water. One second, guys. I'm sorry for this, but yeah, one second. <coughs> Okay, I'm back. God. Really, really, really is dry. Ugh. Stupid dry cough. Can't it ever disappear? Okay, let's see. Who are we at war with right now? No, don't 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 give them any movement orders, come on. <coughs> um yeah, Morocco, we are at war with Estonia. That's gonna be a bit hard to bring down. All right, we had also war with India. Right, that was why I increased my <coughs> increased my military division, military police divisions to actually something kind of sizable. So if India would try to do any naval invasion, then I would be able to well withstand it. I also grabbed non-aggression pact with China and Soviet Union. Right? Yeah. <coughs> Hmm. We have three nations. Uh, we have a couple more nations that we can clean up before we actually declare war against <coughs> against NATO. So war will begin quite soon. Ah. Uh, let's see. How long would that take? Yeah, we just have to wait for these two. Yeah, these two justifications to finish before we can continue. Because bringing down Morocco would be a pretty good victory. <coughs> and other than that, how many nations do we actually have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <coughs> 8 nations that are not, well, guaranteed by a NATO member. <coughs> Holy shit, I'm dying. <coughs> All right, I'm back again. Um was dying a bit out off screen. Holy shit. <coughs> I don't know, sometimes I still get like 
Attacks of cough. So annoying. Okay. Let's go in right here. Oh god, that uh, this uh, feels better. Now after dying a small while. So, we have Algeria joining the Afghan coalition. And hopefully we can... Well. Just bring them down together very, very swiftly. <coughs> Holy shit. Yeah, shouldn't be any real problem right here. They are not that strong and they actually have quite a bit of military factory stuff that I will enjoy taking. Uh, you military police need to jump over right here and defend this territory too. <coughs> and of course that land too. Just in case. Come on. Almost forgot about that. Um, yeah, you are very soon done. You are finally getting some reinforcements. It took a hell of a long time. We are defending right here every single province, apparently, except a pile right here because we didn't have enough troops. <coughs> we can just very easily give them a uh, debate regarding direct democracy. But <coughs> um, yeah, sure, a valid proposal. Because that will only increase our political or stability, which should, for the love of God, soon become amazing stability. We have done so many good, like stability events after we we got high stability. So amazing stability would be, well, amazing to get. <coughs> God, this has gotta be one of the worst <coughs> cost attack I ever get. Ugh. So, let's see. God damn it, I really want to go up, man. I would really, really want to go up this law. Come for me to a real enemy, worthy of my challenge. Well, it would be once we declare war right here. Declare, <coughs> declare war against a NATO member and the United States it's called in. Otherwise, we won't ever be able to get enough. Well, enough of a real enemy to be able to declare a war. Oh crap, I forgot to justify another war right away after. Okay, then it's more worth it to just wait and, well, wait until that one finishes before we do the next one. Right here, get a couple of more military factories. <coughs> and yeah, as a guest, we are getting quite a bit more military factories right here to build from both Egypt and Libya. But what we'll get even more from is when we finally, well, bring down everyone and just use, since we have the formal nations also, just form Africa, all required states are cord. So everything, yeah, everything will basically double in their building slot since non core minus 50%. So that would be freaking amazing. And that would really be able to, well, unlock our potential to go a full scale war against, well, the entirety of NATO and probably CSTO at the same time. Because I haven't really decided if I should just be happy with NATO or if I should bring down Soviet Union too. But really, really I just want to strike back against the former colonialist. So may I'm probably just gonna leave Soviet Union on their side. Just have them there, have them well spread communist on the well eastern side of the world. India, China still at war. Seem to finally have slowed them down a tiny bit. It would be bad for me if India managed to win against China. Because that would really just, well, turn the situation very south for me. At least they're now distracted with a war with China instead of a war with me. That would probably lead to a bunch of naval invasions. Actually, what do you have currently? 31 ships. Yeah, I have 16. And most of them are, well, pretty goddamn crap, to be honest. Uh, Mr. Cruiser level 2, alright. We should definitely try to upgrade them. Uh, let's see, we have Miss Cruiser 1. Yeah, produce that one and then just, well, get upgraded, please. Oh god, I think my cough attack have... Oh yeah, nice, nice, finally. I have no idea what happened, I just completely died. It's always like, yeah, are you fine, Daniel? Yeah, you're fine, you can record an episode. You're dying now, Daniel. Ha! Tricked ya! Okay, cool. <sighs> the end of times were coming. God, we have a lot of civilian factories right now. 
uh, what should we do with all of that? Huh. I think we need more steel. So let's get a tiny bit more steel. And with tiny bit, I mean a lot more, st a lot more steel. Because that's the one thing that will always be consistent of me requiring. I will always need more steel. And after that, let's get some more tombstone. These are, these, they are basically two main things I will always need in an infantry based army. And especially since now in modern day you also need that for your air force. So yeah. <coughs> it's actually kind of obvious that those two are the one things I really really need. There we go, Mali. Nowhere just nowhere guarantees or anything. Nope. And let's just justify that war goal and declare it. And Mali joined the Afghan coalition. The question is which Afghan coalition? No. It seems like everyone joins this normal one, and then we had the weird ones, Egypt and Libya. He just decided that African collision is not good enough for us. Let's create our own. Okay, just fight there, and I think against Mar Mauritania. <coughs> Should be in next war, because that gives us land access to basically everyone. And right here, Morocco. How are you feeling? Yeah, actually, you're feeling kind of well. Let's break them together. There we go, thank you. Uh, you two attack right here. I want one unit to progress right there. Let's see. What what the hell are you doing? What, why seven divisions going around right here? Oh, because you're spreading around to. Okay. But could you seven divisions just advance? Just push in and actually win win me that war so we can turn around for Morocco. I would kind of appreciate that. <laughs> uh, you two divisions, please stack right here with one division from there. And that should break anything you might possibly have. Cool. <coughs> okay, one unit going up right here, one unit go in. Cool beans. That's, a, that's two or three very big provinces that are going to take ages to walk into. Yeah, 14 days. To arrive right here. Holy shit. That's unbelievable. 14 days to move from state to state. Or actually, well, just imagine if you actually had to walk all this way. That would take a hell of a lot. Just think about it. Really, a soldier would work, go to sleep, wake up, continue walking. Oh god. And now they're just constantly walking. Wow. Oh, so unrealistic. Doesn't simulate sleeping patterns for soldiers. Wow. Oh god, that would be so boring. <laughs> if you actually had to simulate all the sleeping patterns. Some people are not morning person. No. <laughs> that wouldn't matter, but... <coughs> that you actually had to wait for your soldiers to sleep some certain amount of time. Or actually, if you had to press a button to say, yeah, you're... So you're supposed to sleep right now and then people could do could do night attacks and actually oh god that would be so such a micro hell ah oh, don't even want to think about it so is this the only thing you have covered this entire front yeah but yeah your your soldiers need to basically get in here instead of just looking at this all the time because yeah supply is horrendous over here yeah Algerian desert zero but still pretty fine because we are managing to transfer so much to this area which is kind of unbelievable uh, yeah you need to be at least level what did I say level 5 yeah level 5 so level 5 right there level 5 right here and you should also be top priority level 5 level 5 level 5 level 5 5 5 5 huh, that kind of Reminds me of a. Sh it was a super old TV show in Sweden where they had this character who could only say five. Five, 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 five. <laughs> oh, God. Nostalgic memory. That's how I can. That how in hell do I start thinking of that when I'm playing Hearts of Iron? Ha! <laughs> That's kind of incredible. Weird connections. Uh, let's just push in right here. Oh yeah, that was a that was a stupid move. 
we need to fix this infrastructure first otherwise yeah we are pretty much doomed so construct engineering please uh, let's double check that we don't have any resistance anywhere uh, nope excellent that means we will we'll have very few broken things hopefully Mali has surrendered excellent now um, everyone will be pretty much automatically assigned to defend against well Morocco which is gonna be our next enemy but I don't think there's gonna be anything until we have actually fixed this territory <coughs> and we might actually have to yeah just boost this a tiny bit actually you are very far actually we can just repair everything and build the new stuff at the same time so it's fine and we actually focusing the stuff that we don't need to focus so let's just promote the stuff we had furthest down and actually have the real areas that need to be improved improved first please thank you 15 days oh yeah we can survive that long and i completely forgot about research somehow come on daniel you had stopped doing that you have stopped forgetting about research and actually well research when you could research and now you have started forgetting about that again unacceptable uh, let's see anything right here that I could pick uh, some stuff that is a bit out of time let's just improve the navy then let's just get that missile cruiser level 3 right there yep cool <coughs> let's see modified government we have another 15 divisions right here excellent then I think I actually want to fill up this division first so there you are now finally 60 and so we're basically done with that one so we don't have to worry about you anymore <coughs> and otherwise in that let's see we have one two three one two three four five six seven eight more divisions than well i possibly have right now so let's just sign them right here and so we can just continue filling up this from <laughs> You have no experience towards combat. That's bad. Let's see, do any one of you have it? Yeah, you definitely have offensive doctrine. And the same thing with you. You've just been fighting very, very little. Maybe I should assign you to actually do something else. Yeah, we probably don't have to worry about naval mission or anything just yet. So let's just do it right here. <coughs> Since we, well, we have very few divisions assigned right there. Um, actually, we have... We don't have any divisions signed right here. U39 are now assigned right here. We didn't have anyone. Um, I think I'm supposed to assign you right here or something. So yeah, do it. Cool. We could actually do something with you. Because like I said, or like I said a couple episodes ago, we, m we made everyone bigger is better. And that means everyone need the offensive doctrine to be able to, well, fully work optimally. <coughs> So have we finally some infrastructure right here? Yes, we do. So you can finally start transferring some of your supply further. Which means we can hopefully start advancing quite soon. Maybe we even can start right now. Yeah, seems like it. Cool. So let's push in a bit. Just to some areas where we are actually very much superior. Thank you. Let's just move in. You two attack right there. <coughs> One unit goes in. Together with you. And now you return to go in right there. Excellent. No, you two units attack right there. With together with one from there. Excellent. Didn't even have to tell you. Somehow I accidentally selected one unit and you did what what you should. And now you broke them right there. Can we break them right there? We are piercing their armor and we are doing good amount of damage, so we broke them. Cool. <coughs> Slow but steadily we are moving in. Actually, not that slowly, actually. We're pushing in every single province they have. So we shouldn't say slowly, but steadily. Quickly and... Um, yeah, very quickly. <laughs> Finally. Uh, let's see. Anything else we can do to be able to prepare? Let's see. Are we missing anything? Anti-tank guns are the one thing we're missing most of. But we're still not missing that badly of it. Let's see. Did we add any more... Yeah, we added one more line each of it. Uh, let's see, yeah, we could always add, let's just do this. One anti-air, one anti-tank, one normal, and one artillery. 
So just fill out all of these ones. Give everything a bit more of a bonus. <coughs> just basically everything. And after all you're done with all of this infrastructure, we already have all of this queued up. Good. But yeah, fix the infrastructure first and then we'll fix the rest. <coughs> and do you actually have any resources for me? You have some right here, some right there. Just very little, but... Well, it's at least something. And actually, wow, here we have some... Just a nice spread out of a bit of everything. Cool. We still just find two war goals. And uh, one is done in another four days against Tunisia. Right here. Uh, you need to increase your front line, please. Increase your front line, please. There we go. <laughs> I was like, what? why didn't this work? <laughs> See, supply is looking fine right now. Good. Good. And now you could probably have your front line well. I could probably get a front line and actually make sure that you actually use it. Nope. There we go. And execute. <coughs> Thank you. Then that will be just be the same right thing right here. You'll just use it. Since I already executed it in other areas. It won't be as critical to have it right here since we already have units defending. I was at least gonna say. But apparently that failed completely. <coughs> but we are at least breaking them in the entire north. So e even if they push out a tiny bit right here. They will be broken very very shortly. <coughs> <coughs> they will be broken very very shortly. God. Okay. You you don't want me to ap apologize all the time. So I will just say apologize for the earlier ep or earlier time in this episode. When I just were generally dying. Cool. Thank you. Let's just go in and grab the capital right here, and we'll be done. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> God damn it! Like all of these Afghan nations, just refuse to give up when you take their capital, even if it's like one one of the lost cities they have, or even the only city they have. They just yeah no, we can still fight against you and not surrender. And Tunis just got nuked by the, who? Really, China? That that gotta be China. So I declare war against someone and you snoop the crap out of them. That's why everything is destroyed all the time. Not because I'm fighting here, it's because you are nuking the shit out of them. That explains so much. I almost wanna just say, okay we have a new target, after we're done with the entire NATO we are invading China just because they nuked the crap out of all my land, destroying it, destroying the infrastructure I want. But that would require me to invade China too, and that would also probably take a very long time. So I don't know if I want to do it. <coughs> Actually, you should cover everything, including all of this stuff. So yeah, you need a lot more divisions right now. Is everyone trained and ready? No, most of them are recruits. Yeah, then I will just deploy eight more like this. Come on, now bring down Tunis. Bring down Tunis and end this war. Well, actually, not end any war, actually. It doesn't matter if I bring down Tunis. It will still be a lot of war left to do. You know, India. So, I will probably, once I've secured the entirety of Africa, before we declare war against NATO, I will just send over, a, well, basically an army to help China bring down India. Because, well, actually, China is striking back now. Very slowly, but they are striking back. So maybe that won't be necessary. Maybe I should just focus on, actually, well, invading NATO. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. We'll see. And it also matters what you want to do. If you want to see me just go for it with NATO after uniting Africa. Or if you want me to, well, help China first, bring down India, and then go for NATO. <coughs> Up to you. Yeah, we are marching right here. Uh, let's see, current losses, 72,000. So we're actually starting to take quite a bit of losses, just generally. I don't like that. I want to be supreme. That doesn't seem like the game wants to have me supreme. Let's see, infrastructure over here in the north. Is it fine? Uh, yes, except that area, so let's fix it. Go in right here and bring that down. And I will actually have to leave right now. Holy shite. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, even though I died in the beginning. 
uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and bye.